Hi Libra, welcome to your April 1st through the 15th bi-weekly love reading. Crowning your first week, you have heart-to-heart -heart conversations, and it's clarified by the Eight of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles. For your second week, you have Reconciliation, clarified by the High Priestess and the Ace of Swords. So Libra, I feel like some of you guys could be um, having some anxieties about maybe um, Maybe there's a reconciliation present, and you're trying to nurture this reconciliation, but there are anxieties, serious anxieties, scenarios. Somebody doesn't know, somebody doesn't really know what they're doing, but they're just kind of trusting their intuition. They're just going by what their intuition's telling them. And it's almost like these anxieties are keeping you bound to something. They're keeping you from moving forward, is what I'm seeing. If this reconciliation hasn't already happened, it will be, and I feel like you already know this, with the High Priestess, you already know that there's a reconciliation that is on the way. Clarity will be coming about a reconciliation. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Pisces. And there could be a reconciliation with this person, but I feel like they have anxieties on their mind as well. It's not just you, Libra. And that's why the heart-to-heart -heart conversations is here, because you need to discuss your feelings with somebody. Somebody needs to discuss their feelings with you. Possibly an earth sign, maybe even another air sign is what I'm seeing. But somebody's intuition is what, like somebody is just following their intuition despite these anxieties. It's like your intuition is telling you to press on with this reconciliation, to move forward with it. But there's still just fears here. Clarify the Eight of Swords, please, for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Yeah, some of you guys are dealing with a Taurus. Yeah, some of you guys are having anxiety in terms of worrying about a commitment. Because there's a commitment present. If you're already in a commitment with somebody, you're having anxiety about going through with this, continuing on with this. Um, and because it's possibly somebody from the past with the reconciliation card. Maybe they've done you wrong before. Or maybe you've done this person wrong. That's why they have anxiety too. Um, I'm also seeing this being more structured than it normally is. Or maybe it's more structured than it was in the past. Some of you guys could be feeling conflicted about a commitment. And you need to pray. Some of you guys need to pray and ask your angels for assistance. Why is the High Priestess here? This is a very passionate connection, though. If you're connecting with the Taurus, it's very passionate. Lots of red. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, some of you guys, your intuition is just telling you to take this slow, just go with the flow, you know. Very water energy with the High Priestess. Go with the flow. Try not to worry so much about the future. If you're dealing with a Pisces, um, this person could be a Taurus with Pisces in their chart, is what I'm seeing here. It doesn't have to be, though. This can also be your energy. I'm seeing that you know somebody's taking things slow. Somebody's taking something very, very slow. They're making slow movement into an offer or into a commitment. And this is definitely someone from the past because a lot of you guys um, are dealing with reconciliation energies. The Knight of Pentacles is also facing the left, which is the past. So this is an offer being made towards a past person, but it's coming in or going out very slow. Because somebody knows that this is the best way to go. And if you love each other, then 
it shouldn't matter if you take things slow or fast, you know. Five of Wands. Some of you guys could be dealing with a little bit of envy from this Taurus. Possibly in regards to your work situation. Maybe the Taurus that you're dealing with, or it could be a Virgo or a Capricorn. I'm just picking up Earth energy. It doesn't have to be, though. Um, this person could be a little envious of what you do at work. And I feel like you might know that, Libra. Because maybe you're nurturing something for yourself, and this person sees that. And I feel like it's something that they kind of want to be doing too. But I'm also seeing with the Five of Wands, some of you kind uh, Sorry, I trip over my words a lot. <laughs> some of you guys could be dealing with someone whose mother could be creating conflict as well with the Queen of Pentacles here. Um, Maybe this mother is a little envious. And that tends to happen, you know, that tends to happen in connections. Especially if you're dealing with somebody who's the youngest in a family. Um, I'm seeing that, like, maybe the mother is very protective of this young child, or, you know, their child. And to see them, to see their child with someone else, it's like, it's kind of threatening for the mother, you know? Because she feels like she's not, she's going to kind of lose her baby. So maybe this mother could be creating conflict between you and your partner. The magician. Yeah, some of you guys are dealing with a Virgo. Like I said, it's not just Taurus energy in here. Yeah, some of you guys are definitely dealing with a Virgo. If you are dealing with a Virgo, there will be there will be clarity about some conflict. Somebody is going to be coming out and telling the truth about how their mother is very envious or about how their mother has been creating conflict. Somebody's mother is really really starting something here, like trying to do something. And I feel like you might know this, Libra. If this is for you, you probably know this already. You have an idea. Maybe that's one of your anxieties. But clarity will be coming on this situation. It doesn't necessarily have to be a mother. It could just be that conflict comes over a job. Somebody is envious about a job that somebody does. And it is because someone is very good at manifesting. So, Libra, if you, if this is you, the Queen of Pentacles, who's been nurturing this new business or nurturing this new career, it's because you are so good at manifesting. And it's not your fault that you decided to say fuck the system and do whatever you want to do you know, and this person doesn't, because I'm getting that this person is not living to their true authentic self. They're still bound to some structures. If you're dealing with a Taurus, someone, a Taurus with possible air in their chart, this person could be bound to something that they don't even really want to be bound to, but they don't realize it because they got the blindfold over their eyes. They're, they don't even realize that they don't want to be doing this because they've been conditioned for so long. They've been broken down and conditioned with this structure with the Hierophant. They're working from some sort of some sort of structured organization. They could be going to school too, and maybe they see you doing your own thing, being the queen of pentacles, nurturing your own pentacle, your own business, your own career. And this person is a little envious, and clarity will be coming out about this. Somebody is envious because you're very good at manifesting. Or this could be you. This could be you who's feeling envious because your partner is very good at manifesting. to pull you guys an advice card for these two weeks. What's the advice for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus?
Children, what did I tell you? Your love life is being affected by children. I don't see this as like you having children with this person, Libra. I'm seeing this as there's somebody's mother here. The child of someone's mother is in this connection. And this mother is very, is she's creating conflict. And you need to talk about this because this mother could easily go and screw this connection up. Especially if you're dealing with a Virgo, guys. I'm, I'm getting that this Virgo is possibly on the fence. Maybe not even on the fence, but this Virgo has considered severing this connection because there's so much conflict with the mother. Somebody's mother is really, really influencing their child. And, and I feel like you know this, Libra. You know there's an offer that's possibly moving very slow. Maybe it is because the mother. There's a very controlling mother in the picture. Someone is very controlling, and it's keeping this person bound. But that is what I see here, Libra. If you would like to book a personal reading, please DM me or email me. My information is in the description box below, and I'll see you guys later. Take care, Libra. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.